As we began the news, uh, I've been joined in the studio by a prophet, uh, no other one, but uh, Walter Nginyu. He is from Bamenda, Manu uh, Ndogamato division of the country that is northwest region of Cameroon. I think I'm right with that. You're welcome, prophet. Thank you, the journalist. You are so right. Okay, thank you. Now, you have come here, but I want to begin right away. I heard your name, nickname, uh, Engine Soul Prophet. You are a prophet. Why Engine Soul Prophet? Engine Soul Prophet because uh, I have a unique calling mm -hmm. from God to destroy the evil authors that has been enslaving the children of God in mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. So, when God called me, He gave me this Engine Soul by revelation. And so I had to afford one for myself, mm -hmm. which in all the, 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 the places that I've been in Cameroon and beyond, mm -hmm. I've been with this engine soul to liberate God's children from evil shrines and demonic setups mm -hmm. that is enslaving them. Okay, you've come today to talk about uh, your book uh, titled uh, Prayer uh, by Revelation. What is this book all about? Prayer by Revelation mm -hmm. is a book given to me by revelation mm -hmm. from God. And in this revelation, I found myself stretching my hand and mm -hmm. healing the world. That's why you can see the world map mm -hmm. on this book and you see a hand and you see the force entering into mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. So it is a book given to me by God just as you see it by revelation. And the content of this book is to teach people how to pray and see with not just praying and not knowing the direction of prayer, but praying mm -hmm. and knowing what you are praying about. Pray and sing. Mm -hmm. Because someone who prays and doesn't see, just mm -hmm. like a driver who does not know where he's heading to, mm -hmm. and you can, you can you know, be surprised by a pit, you just fall into this pit. Mm -hmm. So prayer by revelation, you actually, you, you are, your issues are revealed to you mm -hmm. by God. Mm -hmm. Your issues are revealed to you. So you can be praying, you can have a stomach problem, mm -hmm. whereas this stomach problem, the source, it's an evil altar, a high place that has been raised to destroy you. So God will reveal to you, this is the source of this issue you are going through. So this is what is in this book, Prayer by Revelation. How to help the children of God mm -hmm. to pray by revelation so that God can answer their prayers. Mm -hmm. Okay, this message, you're talking about prayers, revelation and all that. Do you have a particular population or group of people that you are sending this message to them? Yeah, this message, I'm sending it to all groups of people because everybody needs to talk to God. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to talk to His Creator and you need to know how to talk to God. And in our generation, where we know that our calling and our, our assignment has been infiltrated by so many people who do not have the calling, mm -hmm. but who have some other motives to slip in through, mm -hmm. many children of God are confused. And at the end of the day, they, they tend to depend only on miracles. And the, the Lord Jesus says in the book of John, chapter 6, verse, from verse 25 mm -hmm. to verse 27, mm -hmm. He said, do not seek for miracles, but mm -hmm. seek for the food that will never perish. Rather than seeking for food that will perish, seek for the one, one for the food that will never perish. Mm -hmm. That means you need to seek to know how miracles come about, not seeking for miracles. Because mm -hmm. in your house, when you will be attacked, or when you have a spiritual encounter, mm -hmm. the man of God will not be there to pray for you. You need mm -hmm. to fight for yourself. Mm -hmm. And this is the revelation that God has put in this book so that he can bless his children in the nation mm -hmm. and beyond. Okay, let me find out from you. When we talk about children of God and you're talking about the calling, is everybody gifted? Is everybody having that calling? Like Christians, I say I'm a Christian. Do I really have that calling and how can I go about it? Everybody has the calling because uh, everybody is a child of God. God has created everybody. Mm -hmm. So some people decide to choose whether they want to go through the evil way or the right way. Mm -hmm. So we are all face of us, servants of God in the mm -hmm. offices of evangelists, prophets, mm -hmm. pastors, apostles, and teachers. And now many people have choose a certain pattern that they want to go because the devil is equally fighting the children of God. So some people mm -hmm. derail from their calling. Some people derail from their calling. But those who have the calling and that the Spirit of God is helping them to pursue their calling, mm -hmm. they are making exploit and they are making God proud. Okay, is there any other message that you are passing out to those watching you that, that is in that book? Yes, another message that I'm passing out are just the testimonies. Because as you've rarely asked, everybody, does everybody has a calling? Mm -hmm. 
your testimonies justifies your calling. The message of this book and the message I'm passing out there is that the testimonies of this book justify the importance why this book is needed. With this book and the prayers that God has given through this book, mm -hmm. there are a lot of breakthroughs that we have had in the nation and beyond. Remember, I'm coming from the northwest region of Cameroon, mm -hmm. where the crisis hit region, and mm -hmm. for five years, the stretch between Kumbu, Ndu, and, mm -hmm. and Banso, Kumbu, has been blocked for the first five years. Mm -hmm. And by revelation, God asked me to go there and to pray and reopen the road. Even before going there, there was a press conference, and I told journalists I was going to open this road by God, mm -hmm. and they were very surprised. Many people thought I was going to lose my life. Mm -hmm. So I went there, and on the crusade ground, I gave a warning that whosoever is blocking this road will give way because God's children are suffering. Some cannot have you know, access to hospitals just from due to ban. So people there of asthma, where people can rush to the hospital and get medicine for asthma. People, I mean, so I went there and I said I was putting my life in front. Whosoever, so I went and the military were the one even begging me not to go and open the road because there are mines on the way. I said, I've already crossed some of the mines. Mm -hmm. And if, they, if God had not permitted them to explode on me, mm -hmm. that means he has sent me to open that road. And I went and prayed and decreed that whosoever will stand up again to block anybody on that road, God will take him down. The wrath of God will come upon that one. And when I was in an international evangelism, breaking altars in Burkina Faso, I was contacted by same journalists who say, Prophet, the words have come to pass. The road has been opened. And now that road is moving. So this is just one of the little Mm -hmm. I've just coming from Kampala in Uganda where this book, the mandate of God given to me through this book, I was requested, I was solicited by revelation to represent Africa in, an, in, a, in the Africa all, Africa Altar Conference in Kampala 2022. Mm -hmm. So I was the prophet that God revealed to these servants of God across the continent of Africa mm -hmm. to go and carry a symbolic and prophetic prayer at the source of the Nile, where the Nile takes its source. And this term place the same uh, prayer that I went to do. Servants of God have embarked on this mission and they lost their lives. But because God revealed to them, and also I had it by revelation, mm -hmm. I went there and carried on the prayers mm -hmm. and came back successfully. So there's a new thing happening in Africa. In mm -hmm. fact, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 mm -hmm. to verse 3 is about to manifest over the continent of Africa, not just Cameroon alone, okay. but Africa as a whole. Okay, you said it was not an easy journey, very challenging. Let's take you back, uh, or our viewers, back to the Northwest and Southwest region, particularly in the Northwest region where you had to uh, pray and uh, see that the roads being open. How challenging was it? We know that uh, men of God are often arrested uh, by separatist uh, groups in that part of the country. What uh, really inspired you to go there? Were you afraid? It's this revelation from God. Mm -hmm. By revelation, you just touched the point. I was in Topin, mm -hmm. one of the most dreaded area in the midst of this crisis. And I was taken on gunpoint, filmed on camera, on the crusade ground. Mm -hmm. So they came, fired, and picked me on gunpoint mm -hmm. and went with me. Mm -hmm. But the God that I said intervened within 10 minutes to 20 minutes, I was released and there was a lot of confusion in the camp of those who picked me up. I was in Libya, Lem, the most heated place mm -hmm. in the midst of this crisis. Mm -hmm. And I gave a warning that God has sent me to liberate his children. Mm -hmm. And anyone who is joking and tormenting the children of God will go down. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of results in the, in fact, I don't think that time can permit us to talk about the wonderful testimonies that God has given us through prayer by revelation, which I've been using for so many years now. Okay, I want to find out from you, just very few questions before we go, we close. Uh, the book titled Prayer by Revelation. Uh, I think you're launching the book uh, by November 6th of this year, 2022. How is it going to go about? Yeah, the launching will take place in the headquarters of the Champions International House of Prayer, 11 7 a.m. prompt this book will be launched it has already been Where launched and dedicated at Kampala by the fathers of faith across the continent of Africa mm -hmm. they laid hands on me prayed for me prayed mm -hmm. for the book mm -hmm. because God also revealed to them the content of this book mm -hmm. so it has been launched and it will be launched in Baminda the headquarters just beside the police beside the public police in Baminda okay. That's the headquarters of Champion International Prayer in Tarenkun. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, those who are interested uh, in getting a copy or copies of uh, the book uh, uh, Prayer by Revelation, how can they contact you and where precisely should they go to in case you are not available? Yes, they can contact us through the church number or they can go to the website. Anywhere they are in the world, this book mm -hmm. can get to them. Mm -hmm. So the official price for the book will be set on the launching day. And mm -hmm. on our website, you can find this book there. Our telephone numbers are there, 676-570-021. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
0656-144-822. On these numbers, they can get out to us and then we'll be able to have this book delivered to them. Okay, it, thank you very much, uh, Prophet Walter Ingenio, for coming. Uh, it was a pleasure having you in the news. The pleasure is shared. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, dear viewers, uh, that was uh, Prophet uh, Walter Ingenio from uh, Bamenda talking on uh, the book that he has published uh, and it will soon be launched uh, by November 6, 2022.